Are you wondering what it's like to live in Edmonton? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about what it's been like for me to live here in Edmonton. So stay tuned. What's up everyone? This is Eric Yip. I'm a local real estate agent. And in this video, I'm going to talk about all the things over the years, what it's been like for me to live here. And before I forget, make sure you smash that like button and please subscribe. Uh, I make a lot of videos, everything about eating, sleeping, drinking, playing, um, working, I know boo, working, but we still got to work. And I have so many people that are calling me. So if you're thinking of moving to Edmonton, make sure you reach out to me. Uh, text me, phone me, email me, even fax me if you really wanted to. And definitely love to help you out. Definitely got your back and take care of you. Anyways, let's get right to it. So I've lived here for many years now. And I actually grew up here. I moved away, came back again. And I absolutely love it here. I think Edmonton is actually very, very nice. There's a lot of great things to do. Uh, and if you have a family here, it's definitely a, a nice place to raise your family. I remember when I moved back to Edmonton uh, years ago, we had a population of maybe about half a million. Things were actually, the pace was a lot slower compared to what it was. And I remember traveling, because I did, did a fair amount of traveling when I was younger and if you came from a place like New York or Toronto or Japan uh, any place where it's very very busy Edmonton would feel like it, it, it's crawling speed and I hated that and as an example I remember going to the, the banks what should have taken uh, maybe one or two minutes it took 30 minutes I remember to, to do something I think I was doing a bank draft or something like that things have changed things have really sped up quite a bit today but I remember back then things were a little bit slower um, there's there's actually lots to do in Edmonton absolutely love the, the springs the summers autumns and winters so let's talk about spring first during springtime I actually love that season when you go from Everything being white and there's snow on the ground, everything is thawing and you start seeing all the greenery uh, come alive, all the trees, all the birds singing and chirping. You can start seeing the geese fly into Edmonton and the ducks and sometimes you can even see some wildlife with um, little foxes. Oh, they are so cute. I think I want to have one as a pet. but. Obviously, they're wildlife, and you gotta be dangerous with that, and it's illegal to have one, I believe. Uh, what else is there during springtime? Uh, I think, you know, you, you've had such a long winter in Edmonton. Uh, winters in Edmonton are long, they can last six months to, to even longer at times, uh, sometimes even seven to eight months, and it's just it's so long. I don't like the cold. As long as we do have sun out, it's actually not too bad. It is bearable. Uh, the only time it you, you feel the pain when there is no sun, it's dreary outside, it's snowing, it's dark, and it just, it, it can feel a little bit depressing. So you got to make sure you find something to do. Uh, you're keeping yourself occupied. And to me, I, I think that's, uh, you can... You can definitely overcome that uh, for myself. What do I do during times like that? You know what? Sometimes I binge watch movies. Uh, maybe I'll call some friends over and, and play some video games if I can. During summertime, I actually enjoy staying active. So I'll actually go to the Seville Center and play a game of tennis. It's, it's close to our university. Uh, you got to pay for a membership there, but we do have some places where you can still stay active. Uh, there are some places where during evening time you can drop in and do different sports. There's a new game called Pickleball. It's a modified game of tennis. It's like a little mini tennis, if you will. Um, uh, also, there's table tennis. You can play badminton. 
we have bowling leagues here. Uh, if you're into darts, people have darts. Uh, oh yeah, I remember talking to some friends. I don't know if you remember D&D, Dungeons and Dragons. I remember when I was a kid, I had all my friends that played it. I didn't know anything about it. And it was so cool because there was the storyline. There was, I think it's called the Grandmaster. They're the person who, 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 who tells the story. And everyone's a player. And you roll a dice and you determine what happens and so on and so forth. And you can be so creative. Uh, and you can let your imagination go wild however you want. And yeah, that is very, very cool. Uh, in terms of uh, Edmonton, I'm going to say that it is very, very family-oriented. There's a lot of things to do for families. There are places to go. People can go uh, tobagganing. They can go uh, go for uh, you can go skiing. You can go snowboarding in winter. That part is very, very cool. Uh, in general, people are very busy. Uh, people are very, very family-oriented. People work hard in Edmonton uh, from 7.30 in the morning. Traffic's pretty bad here because everyone's trying to get to work. And then during lunchtime, you, you, you see that lunch rush also. And then by about 4, 4.30, you also have that rush with traffic. Uh, and then people want to get home. They want to spend time with their family. Uh, Saturdays and Sundays, uh, usually late. By, but I'm going to say by about 11 o'clock or noon everyone comes out they want to go shopping they want to go do things with their family uh, and all the restaurants get packed all the different stores get packed also uh, so people are very very busy uh, during winter time so now transitioning from summer to to autumn uh, i'm gonna backtrack a little bit before winter so autumn's actually beautiful here um all, that's where you see all the leaves slowly turn from green to yellow to red uh, before they fall off. It, it, it actually looks very, very beautiful here. Uh, the weather-wise, you, you still might get like a, a plus 25 degrees during the daytime. By nighttime, you might go down to 10 degrees, which is actually ideal for sleeping. You want to still stay warm and active during the daytime. If we can actually have our entire season like that, it would just be amazing. Uh, you don't want it too hot, you don't want it too cold. Uh, but there are days during summertime where every now and then you might touch that 27, 28 degrees, which does get very, very hot. I never thought I'd get an air conditioner until about four or five years ago. And I thought, I'm living in Edmonton. It is so cold here for so long. Why do you need an air conditioner? I got it because uh, there were the days when it was super hot. I really, I really wished I had one. So I got one. It's not that I keep the temperature down super cold, but it is nice when it's plus, let's say, 37, and I bring it down just one or two degrees just to make it more bearable. I don't like it freezing because in wintertime, I'm freezing my tush off anyways. I'm, I'm, I'm freezing and I, I don't want it to be too cold. Uh, and so now, winter time. To transition from autumn to winter when we first get our snow uh, snowfall, there's always accidents. People drive too fast. They're not adapting to uh, winter driving. And one of the things is I actually started using winter tires and it really does make a difference in winter where you can stop a little uh, earlier and a little faster uh, versus if you're slipping and sliding that extra I don't know let's say uh, two to five meters might make a difference between you crashing into a post or another vehicle or preventing an accident so that's the best thing I did for myself was to get some winter tires during winter uh, and oh yes shoveling of course when it snows you gotta shovel that is the part i really don't enjoy uh, nevertheless you gotta do it sometimes you might get lucky where if you if, if you don't have time you might have a neighbor's uh, son 
a child that, that wants to make a couple bucks and they go, hey, look, I'll, I'll do it for, let's say, I don't know, five bucks or 15 bucks or whatever uh, it is these days to shovel. Uh, and sometimes over the years when I've gotten too busy, I've actually hired, uh, I went on to Kijiji, search for people who would do some shoveling. And typically they would charge between $25 to $50 uh, for shoveling. That's something I've done in the past when I was crazy busy with work. Uh, what else is it like to live in Edmonton? Hmm. When we transition from wintertime to spring and nearly summer where we there's still a lot of snow on the ground, uh, that part I don't enjoy it because all the roads become slushy and it's dirty and it's wet. You got to make sure you have your windshield water fluid uh, full so you can clean the windshield. Uh, and there are times you think, okay, great, I'm going to wash my vehicle now. A day later, there's still so much water and slush on the ground that you basically, it, it's worthless. You're better off not washing it until all the snow and all the slush is gone already. Uh, and then now, of course, when summer does uh, come around, there's no more snow. It's just it's great. I love all of that. The only thing is you get the speed demons that come out and they love to speed because in wintertime they can't speed. They've been frustrated and at times it does get a little bit annoying at nighttime because people, when you're trying to sleep, they're just zooming down the highway and you can hear them from miles and miles away sometimes. Uh, also, I'm going to say that some people do get a little reckless with their driving in summer and you definitely got to keep your eye out on the road having said that summertime is just it's so exciting because there's so much to do there's different festivals there are different sporting events you can enter into for example backtracking with the different festivals there is the fringe fringe festival there's the folk uh, festival where you can enjoy music we have the taste of Edmonton where people enjoy food we have a lot of restaurants that congregate at uh, downtown and you got to pay little tickets to taste all their food to me I feel like it's become a little bit more commercialized but if you actually want to get a, a, a taste and, and know what kind of foods and restaurants are in Edmonton it's definitely worth checking out uh, during that time, usually they have a, a beer tent or a wine tent where you can go enjoy all the brewskis and the beer uh, from all over the world. And like, I'm not a drinker myself. However, uh, most of my friends are. And, you know, just if you enjoy the beer and the wine, that's definitely where you want to uh, go check out. Uh, as the summer progresses, then we have the heritage days where all the different... Uh, heritages come together they all hang out at Horlack Park it's usually a three-day event I think it's a three-day or four-day event it's like a Friday Saturday Sunday so three-day event and you can go check out all the different heritages uh, they have different music live music again dancing uh, they have food and yeah Horlack Park is just it, it's amazing a lot of people go there I've gone there uh, year after year and yeah I didn't realize that we have a lot of people in Edmonton if you're into sports we have tennis courts outdoor tennis courts basketball we have skating parks for for people of skating and if you're into tennis I actually play a couple games myself so if you want to come out and have a game give me a shout love to have a game with you uh, what else is there oh yeah soccer soccer is pretty big here that rugby they even have cricket. So if you're into cricket, they do have cricket out here. Um, yes, rugby also. Uh, there's a new thing. and Oh yeah, golf is pretty big here too in Edmonton. I'm not a very big golfer myself. In fact, I think I suck. I just, I just don't know how to golf. Uh, but if you're into golf, definitely uh, come check it out here. Uh, what else is here? So if you actually want to get around... The walkability is actually not that great, like some other cities like Toronto or something like that. However, um, the bus and the LRT, they're actually building the LRT from, um, they're extending the, the line all the way to the south side, which makes it more convenient 
However, there are still some places where you just can't walk to. Even if you have a bus, uh, if you take the bus, it's, it's hard to get around. So it is best that you have your own vehicle here. Uh, there are some new scooters that I think, they're, is it called Lyft? I forget what it's called. Uh, where you can rent those scooters, get around. Seems like a lot of fun, but it also seems dangerous. But fun at the time, and I don't know, maybe both danger and fun. Dangerous as fun. Fun is dangerous. Uh, what else can we do here? And, oh yeah, shopping. There's lots of shopping here. Lots of great restaurants. Bars also. I remember years ago when I, I, I used to organize a co-ed volleyball after volleyball, we'd always go for wings and, and nachos and, and drinks. And I remember all my friends, when they were drinking around me, I would only have a pop or, or water. But you know what? I blended just right in with all my friends and I had just as much fun. So there's definitely lots to do here. And uh, what else? Anything I'm taking for granted or not? Now, Edmonton's pretty cool, so come check it out.